Today I'm going to be taking you on a little tour of my apartment. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I just basically took my camera the other day and walked around and showed you everything. Uh, it's <laughs> obviously like not perfect and it's kind of a mess and we're still moving in but people have been asking to see it so I just thought I might as well show it to you now instead of waiting for everything to be perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. Right now we are going into our room. So when you first walk in the door, this is what you see. So we have just a bathroom in here, just have some um, like skincare and makeup products on the counter, and I really like the lights in here, they're really good. And now we have a bathtub and shower in here. And all of our products are vegan and cruelty free, obviously. Just looks like this. And then in here we just have a linen closet with towels and blankets and normally extra pillows, but they are out on the couch right now. And then going over here, we have our closet. It is so sunny already. So um, it's a pretty big walk-in closet. I have all of my <laughs> stuff in two-thirds of it. Um, drawers. It's really messy because I need to get more hangers, but for right now, whatever. <laughs> it's just a closet. Uh, and then Pav has his stuff all in this thing and hung up here. So then you walk out of the closet. And we turn around. This is our little bookshelf storage unit here. So we just have some books and my camera bag. And then we have um, just the same decorations that were in my room. So I have my pendulum and amethyst under a little glass terrarium. And then I have my salt lamp, my orchid laptop and shit and then just a few little decorative slash useful things um this is where i keep some more of my jewelry you guys saw this in my room tour at my other house this little thing i explained all my jewelry and here are some books that i absolutely love so i keep them here so I've got Healing Foods, Yoga Cures by Tara Stiles, 100 Foods to Stay Young, Aromatherapy, um, some Jane Austen, Faking It by Jennifer Crusey, and that is like such a good book. I lent it to my friend Hannah when she went away to the Dominican, and she just like read it all the whole during the week. Um, the Great Gatsby, Obvi, Taking Charge of Your Fertility which is an amazing book. It's not <laughs> about like getting pregnant. I mean, there's chapters on that if you want to, but it's actually just an amazing book for like, um, just learning about like your cycles and your body and all your body's natural processes that no one ever seems to tell you. Uh, Anatomy of the Spirit, I talked about this a little while ago. This book is actually incredible. Yoga Girl, obviously, um, and then I just have this one called Unstoppable, which is about launching a holistic health practice. 
And then here, obviously, these are not mine. We've got Pev's engineering books, space books, the buried life, a measuring tape, you know, the usual. Um, and then up here is where I keep my tarot cards, book, and cards. Moving on, this is the chair that I've been talking about, if you've heard me talking about a big purple chair. Used to be it in the living room, but then we got the big new couch, so this is it. It is like seriously the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in in my whole entire life. It's pretty epic. And then here, I just have the same curtains that I had in my other room. If anybody's outside right now watching me film, they're going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, and then on my windowsill, I just have my healing stones package, my new little succulent, that, and then I just have a little citrine. Um, I forget what this one is. Something with a P. And my quartz. And then moving on to my nightstand. These are the things I kind of just keep here regularly. So my phone, obviously. Um, a citrine. There we go. My water bottle. And the magic, which I am currently reading and going through. And I'm using this notebook to do the exercises. And then here we have the bed. So yeah, it's like 7 a.m. That's why the lighting's a little bit weird right now, but I don't know. I thought it was kind of pretty. So yeah, this is our room. So this is like the back view of it. Yep. Okay, and then walking out of our room, we come into the living room. So you guys have seen glimpses of this, I'm sure, but let's welcome the new addition. My plant. My dad gave it to me. He is uh, checking what kind it is. Um, because I'm not too sure what kind this is, but once we know them, we'll know where to put it, like how much sun it will need, and uh, like how to water it and all that. But yeah, this is basically an overview of the living room. So this is our couch. This is what it looks like first thing in the morning when the sun's coming through. I just love it in here. It's so beautiful. It's already so warm though. Oh yeah, don't mind this futon that we still have to sell. Um, so yeah, this is the couch. It is not suede. It's actually microfiber, so it's vegan. And uh, we just have this huge blanket here that we use at night for movie nights or whatever. And this is the couch. Up here I have the same painting that I had that in my old room that Pav made me like this. On the coffee table we just keep um, a single candle. We just use this table to obviously put glasses and everything on. It's like super old but super sturdy. So like we don't really care about getting it all like banged up or anything which I really like about it. And then we also have this kind of matching table thing over here where we have some fake flowers. <laughs> uh, this other fake plant. I'm all about the fake guys, except for this one. This one's real. This guy's real. Uh, but yeah, here we just have candles. No, candle, lighter, Wii U remote, speaker. Down here, Pav just has like stupid gaming controllers and chargers and stuff. And then here, I've got this hanging, this is called an air plant. 
And basically what it is, is just a plant that um, doesn't need soil. It still needs sun or light and it still needs to be watered. But to water it, you just either mist it or soak it in water for 20 minutes. And here I have more succulents. So these are the ones that I had in my old place. And uh, this little guy is new. I feel like one of those weird plant people. Anyways. And then this is my aloe vera that's like a little bit dying, but I'm trying to revive it. And then this is just a candle that is almost gone. And this is just dirty because I was repotting plants on it. <laughs> um, yep, and then over here we just have the doors to the balcony. And we have this little lamp with just some little decorations on it. Here we have a TV, which I didn't even want, but Pav suggested we should get one. And I'm happy we did now because, like, we can have friends over to watch movies and stuff. But we just have, like, an Xbox and a Wii U down there. But they're only the Wii is ours. <laughs> and then over here we just have another little bathroom. So it looks kind of the same. It's got the same lights, same sink and stuff. Um, there's a shower here. Like, we use this bathroom just because if it's convenient if we're close by, but like it's just kind of a fluke that this place had two bathrooms. So yeah, to kind of give you an idea, that's the living room, that's our bedroom, and then this is the bathroom. And this room is still... Uh, complete mess. This is our storage room right now. It's so echoey. Um, it's going to be an office, but right now it just has everything that we don't have a place for yet. So this will be my workspace. I'll have my desk, my bulletin board. I just have everything thrown there right now. I keep my tripod in here. There's a random chair. Um, just like this thing. Got a closet right there. So I got bed rails that I have to bring back to my house because we just put my bed on the floor. And then here we just have some tools that we needed to like put apart the, or put together the couch and stuff. And then this will be Pav's workspace right here. So yeah, this room is not very exciting. So after you come out of that room, um, we have a little kitchen table, my purse, cooking trolley that has spray paint because we have stuff to paint. Okay, our kitchen's a mess, but like, whatever. I don't really care. Um, here's where I keep my Vitamix. <clears throat> Woo, tea. Um, we have a toaster oven, which I love. My spice rack. Pitas, everybody should have pitas. I have bananas ripening in these bags. If you want to avoid fruit flies, and if you also want your bananas to ripen faster, put them in brown paper bags. And then you can just reuse the bags after for like compost. Um, a shit ton of dishes that I should have put away last night. Some cleaning supplies because yesterday was cleaning day. And a food processor. Dishwasher, thank goodness. And then we just have this little pantry here. Our fridge. I think I will do like a vegan pantry tour at some point or like kitchen tour because everything in my kitchen is vegan, obviously. Um, yep, so then we just walk over here. That's Pav's soccer bag that has like smelly soccer gear in it and I'm not touching that so we're just going to leave that where it is. This is our front door. It's beautiful. We want to get a welcome mat for people to like put their shoes on and stuff but here we just have the front hall closet where we keep our mop and our shoes and then here is the laundry room I've got my plant that my friend Alvira said was sick so she said it needed to be in the dark for a bit because I gave it too much sun we've got all of these cans to bring back to the recycling place here we have storage stuff and my bike well my exercise bike not my real bike <laughs> so yeah that's the storage room Nothing really to see there, so I'll just give you a little overview. So, you walk in the front door. <laughs> Still my PJs. You walk in the front door, 
You see, first, the fucking futon. Picture the futon not being here. So you walk in, and it's very open. This is what you see. So, yep, this is it. I'm sorry for my messy kitchen, but it's probably always going to be a mess like that, so I just figured why not show you right now. Living room, our room, other bathroom, and office. So, yeah, that's about it. So, that was my apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any requests for videos, leave them below, and I will see you guys next time.